Hey everybody, thanks for joining us for our Wednesday morning devotion. It's actually Tuesday afternoon and we're on a trip with our youth group up to, what's this, Mongo, Indiana, the big city of Mongo, Indiana. Yeah, it's Mongo. I got I got the peanut gallery here in the back, so they're here for a color commentary. But anyway, thanks for joining us. It's a beautiful day out here, and we thought it would be neat to shoot our Wednesday morning devotion with uh, some of our church leaders and some of our young people as well. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see all these beautiful faces that are here with us today. Everybody say hi. Uh, all right. Hi. There's Rob back in the cheap seats. <laughs> Miss Andrea, tell everybody hi. Hi. <laughs> so, so today, I hope that you have your devotion book with you. The passage is from Ecclesiastes chapter 3. If it feels like we're trying to herd cats, I think we probably actually are. Um, I, had the, I had the app open on another phone here, but it got moved. So anyway, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 probably going to be editing a lot of this out, so bear with us. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 says this. It says, everything has a t To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to gain and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. You know, Ecclesiastes, at this point in his life, he's, he's an old man, and he's speaking with wisdom. And he talks about some of the things that are most important in life. You know, as we have spent the morning out here with our youth, uh, just on a day away, we would have been at camp this week, but because of the pandemic, camp got canceled. And so we're just out here in this beautiful place on a canoe trip, and it really causes one to remember what really is important about life. So the devotion for today is titled, Treasure the Moments. Here's what it says. It says, Su Dong Po, also known as Su Shi, was one of China's greatest poets and essayists. While in exile and gazing upon a full moon, he wrote a poem to describe how much he missed his brother. He said, We rejoice and grieve, gather and leave, while the moon waxes and wanes, since times of old nothing remains perfect. It says, may our loved ones live long, beholding this beautiful scene together, though thousands of miles apart. His poem carries themes found in the book of Ecclesiastes. The author, known as the teacher, observed that there's a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to panic, or a time to embrace, not panic, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. By pairing two contrasting activities, the teacher, like Sung Dong Po, s seems to suggest that all good things inevitably come to an end. As Su Dong Po saw the waxing and waning of the moon as another sign that nothing remains perfect, the teacher also saw in creation God's providential ordering of the world that he had made. God oversees the course of events, and he has made everything beautiful in its time. Life may be unpredictable and sometimes filled with painful separations, but we can take heart that everything takes place under God's gaze. We can enjoy life and treasure the moments, the good and the bad, for our loving God is with us. That is a very, very, very timely message. There's many things to do. There are many conquests to have in life. There's, there's phone calls to make and people to see and meetings to attend. And, mortgage to pay and all these other things. I am thankful today that God allowed me the opportunity to spend this day out here with the young people of Wayne Dale Baptist Church. And I hope many years from now as an old man, I'll look back on today and I will say that yes, it's true that all good things do eventually end here. But one day in heaven, all good things will last forever. 
thankful for this day. I'm thankful for the opportunity to be your pastor. Thankful for these young people. Thankful for this beautiful river and all the wildlife that we've seen along the way. Countless turtles and swans and geese and fish. And I think if you were an atheist and you come along on the trip with us today, surely God would have changed your mind about the beautiful creation. And the very pinnacle of his creation is this. Look at these folks. What a gift. What a gift. We love you guys. We're thankful that we had the opportunity to get away today. I'll see you tonight at midweek service. In the meanwhile, be blessed. Treasure the moments. Know that God is the giver of every good and every perfect gift. Amen. We'll see you soon.